Hey everybody, today we're going to be reviewing the Gardenia Seleno. It's a uh, robotic lawnmower. Came in this box here, and then I've deboxed it, and here is the lawnmower. If it looks large, it is, and it's actually a little bit heavier than I thought it would be. It also comes in the box with this uh, pad, which it will uh, rest under. It's kind of like the parking space, if you will. Comes with this uh, charger. And then it comes with stakes and wire so that you can outline your backyard so that it won't cut your neighbor's yard or wander off into the street. And then it also comes with a couple of different things, this box here and uh, some materials here that we're going to get into. I'm going to start by going through this quick guide and downloading the Bluetooth app that they suggest, and then we'll test it out. So as you can see, I have the lawnmower running right next to its charging station. Found out that it can go over the charging station without a problem. And uh, basically the process was very simple. Uh, the charging station right here connects in the back all the way up. This, uh, this cord here has a decent amount of slack so it can stretch pretty far. They do recommend that you have the uh, charger uh, at least um, two feet above uh, the ground just so that the lawnmower doesn't um, run into it. As you can see, it just parked itself. So now it's going to charge. It was just finishing up a mow session. Pretty simple setup. What you have to do is you have to install a wire, as you can see, around the perimeter of your yard. I have it going until about the halfway distance of my yard. You also have to install a guide wire, which will go across the middle of your yard. As you can see, I have it there, flush with the ground, leading back to the charger. And then you connect your boundary wire and guide wire together. And that's what will help the lawnmower find its way home. If you happen to have a complex yard and maybe you have some plantings, and it can't set around them and find its way back to the charger on its own intuition. That's pretty simple. And I'll show you guys the uh, mower in action a little bit. Okay, so slight problem. Um, as you might be able to see, the boundary wire that I laid has been disrupted on the second time that I ran the uh, robot lawnmower. It's uh, stuck here. I saw it in the apps. I came out and it appears to have uh, crossed over the boundary wire and um, in the process cut the boundary wire and then um, got the boundary wire actually stuck, um, which is a bit of an electrical hazard um, underneath its tracks. Um, I've left it in place to kind of show you guys uh, what this looks like and uh, definitely a potential problem here as it's an electrical hazard and uh, I'll need to relay the boundary wire in order to run this again. Definitely that'll, consider, uh, that'll be considered in the review. Overall, I think that this uh, robot lawnmower is more of a spectacle than it really is a practical way to mow your lawn. 
I would not recommend it. I really wouldn't. It's just, uh, it's more expensive than any lawnmower, any regular lawnmower that is that I've seen. And it's more of a hassle to sort of set up and I think I've poked some holes in terms of it being uh, reliable as well. So overall, wouldn't recommend. Certainly has some pros. Very cool machine. I really enjoyed testing it out. It truly is very quiet when you're operating it. It's, it's a much more quiet than any electric or gasoline mower that I've ever seen. There's a decent app with scheduling capabilities as well, which I really enjoyed. But the cons of only being able to short, uh, like cut short lawns, not being able to adjust the length, the boundary wire getting caught and sliced up and taking a while to set up. Definitely like just too much uh, hassle. But I think that these things can be improved and in the future we might see better uh, models, better brands uh, come into the space and have a, bit, a little bit more practicability. Practicality that is.